The question that needs to be answered, according to more than one senator, is how did a 20-year-old loner manage to outsmart and outmaneuver the combined security apparatus of the United States? The acting director of the Secret Service and deputy director of the FBI questioned by senators. The acting director called the events of July 13th a massive failure, adding that a thorough review is underway and they're not waiting for that review to strengthen current security measures. The deputy director of the FBI also testifying before the committee, telling senators they have not identified a motive or any co-conspirators. He also said that there was nothing they have found so far that would have alerted law enforcement about the gunman prior to the shooting. Now, uh, Senator Maggie Hassan of New Hampshire was among those questioning the men. Senator Hassan says it's clear there were communication failures and wanted to know what steps are being taken to ensure that doesn't happen again, asking about the meeting prior to the rally of federal, state, and local law enforcement. The focus of that police meeting, one, is to exchange numbers and business cards and then coordinate times for walkthroughs. There were walkthroughs of the Butler Farm site with um, local law enforcement agencies that were supporting that visit. Now, the acting director also said they need to get back to using radios to make sure there's access to tactical information real time without delay. Now, the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee pointed out the Democratic National Convention is in 20 days and asked, given what happened on the 13th, is a review of the security underway? He received assurances from both the Secret Service and the FBI that they were. In the newsroom, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.